we just having fun and shit, you know. I ain't gonna show you what she about. You feel me? Like, little son. Get right. We're gonna do it like this, too. So, let's see if fellow can do it. a prospect she's like you know she's something i ain't never seen before at that young age you know number three never dated a broke boy only love for loyalty and that is my priority i'm done she got this uh missy elliott energy with the brat attitude and just uh throw you up roxa and shante you know what I'm saying? See, whether it's this stage or this stage, she's gonna bring a hundred. And if it's dead out there, she's gonna liven it up. That's my that's my impression. Like, period. She makes songs, bro, for real, for real. From beginning to end, they all mean something. They all got a meaning. She a, she a lyricist, like she really she really get into that shit. It was a, during the pregnancy, it was like a, 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 a roller coaster ride, bro. We had to go through so much, like a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, and before she was even born, bro, you feel me? Like, we went to St. Joe's, actually. Went to St. Joe's Hospital in Patterson. Went to go see the doctor. You know, she got a little normal checkups and all that shit, you feel me? And he mentioned something that I didn't approve of because of the condition. So when the doc told me that it's a possibility that my daughter won't make it. Kind of like flip. Had mad clothes, like pampers. Pull ups, all of like, 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 all that shit, you feel me? Like, trying to stay ahead of this shit. So I came home. And then that shit dawned on me, bro. Like, dawned on me. Like, did this doctor really just tell me that shit, bro? Like, my daughter, bro, my firstborn. Like, I'm not gonna make it. We going through all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, everything that I had in the house, bro. Clothes, all that shit. I tossed all that shit, bro. I tossed all that shit. 
feel me? I was hurt. I was upset. It was like pointless, you feel me? Like we ain't had no hope at all, bro. So my mom's was living at the time. So I went to her. And she told me that I should get a second opinion. So I told her mom that maybe we should try another option. She agreed. So we went to Newark, Newark University Hospital. They ran the same test that they did at St. Joe's Hospital. And when the test results came back to Newark, everything was like the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? So when I found that out, it's like I had hope. I started believing in second chances and I did everything that I had to do to stick by her side to make sure that everything was okay. And nine months after that, a blessing was born, bro. Jay Nicole, feel me? Doctor called me in the room, and he told me, "You can go in the room and go see your daughter." Bro, I held her, looked her in her eyes, bro. And I just started crying, like, because I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's when I knew. That's when I knew, bro, that there really was a God, bro. You feel me? Because he blessed me with a beautiful daughter, bro. You feel me? I have other children, too. Shout out to my daughter, Brielle. My son, I say. You feel me? Those are my babies, too. But I didn't go through half of the shit that I went through with Taylor. Our bond is like impeccable, bro. Like it's 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 like just just unbreakable. You feel me? She like a little me. So now, like every time I see her, you feel me? I just I just smile, bro. You feel me? And it's just like like that's my blessing right there, bro. All my children is my blessing. You feel me? But like that was my first blessing, bro. And that's why I decided to call the documentary The Life of a Blessing. Hey, yo, on February 06, my whole life changed. The 24th of that month, a whole life changed. And on that day, that's when the world met my daughter, flowing in the ocean while she's swimming in that water. But during that time, we was going through that mission. I said, you doc just for voicing your opinion. Telling me some things that a doctor shouldn't mention Like my daughter ain't gonna make it How you expecting me to take it? But during that time we was dealing with some bad dudes Cause every time we made that trip we heard that bad news We had to make a choice between life or death And if I go through this again just help me save my breath My name is Marcia Lyde. Um, I'm Jayla, Jay Nico, mom um, from Patterson, New Jersey. Um, I've been here pretty much all my life. I was born here. Uh, when I realized Jayla um, had this gift 
was in 2018 at um, an event called Day of the Babies with a, a dear friend and business partner of my husband. <clears throat> um, she went up there to sing and I'm like, hmm, what is she doing? So my husband already knew, but you know, they like to keep me out the loop on a lot of things. So when she got up there, she sung the John Legend song and I was like, what the hell? Where was I? Cause I didn't know nobody ain't tell me. What would I do without your smile? Run me in and you kick me out. I got my hair spinning. No kidding. I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your medical misery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Don't know. I knew um, she, she had something special. That's what I know. And she just been proving it ever since. I would love to see her do a song with um, Missy Elliott. Get your face um, on. Get your face Queen Latifah as well. Queen Latifah as well. Um, well, all hail the queen. We can make a song about that's that. That's right. So, I mean, the singing and the, you know, entertainment, things like that, it's in her blood. You know, so it's not like, um, you know, she has to work real hard for it. It's definitely in her blood. For her and her brother, both. And just straight out yeah. the back. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I was just born with it. Mm-hmm. You was. I just came out the womb just Absolutely. singing, like, sitting yeah. and spitting notes. Absolutely. Just... Listen, when you was born, from what I was told, because mm -hmm. I was still knocked out sleep, my mother said, the doctor lift you up in the air. Oh, gosh. And said, she has big feet and some big lungs. I thought you said healthy lungs. Yeah. Oh. Big, healthy lungs. Jayla, ha Jayla is definitely, she has my heart. You know, she has a, she has a big heart. Um, she loved to cook breakfast. Um, dinner and stuff, she ain't gonna touch. But breakfast, she'll, she'll cook you some breakfast. So she's good with that. I mean, when we in the house and we vibing and we got the music on, you know, we just... Chilling. Yeah. Definitely gotta have some music on. Mm -hmm. Tip of my baby, you know that I got you I would never love a person and forget about you Yeah, both my siblings, so I wanna make it big for you I will always come and never ever try to leave you Yo, what up though, man? What's good with y'all? Y'all outside, man So basically, this is the, uh Grammar school that she went to, you know what I'm saying? She graduated from and all that, you know what I mean? Roberto Clemente Elementary School, Patterson, New Jersey. You know what I mean? She graduated from here. We're going to take y'all to the high school that she was I will from there. graduating from. Just like a regular student here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Regular student. Actually, she um, just did some shit the other day. She did a little performance here. Like, she actually did that shit in the hallway. Like, where all the people was like walking through and all that. That shit was dope, though. Yeah, this is where uh, Maino and all them was at. She was on stage with Maino and all them. Right here at International and all that. You feel me? Talent, I mean, like, she got, bro, she got so many talents, bro. You feel me? She got so, she becoming so, so many different ways, bro.
one day it'll be rapping, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, it'll be singing. Then you see her in the mirror, she doing dancing. Like, so she know how to do all that shit, bro. So it's like, she's so creative. She's different, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's, 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 it's unexplainable. You know what I'm saying? I can't even explain it, bro. She's just different. Like, she's just different. Payday, Payday came on with the energy after that. Like, yeah, now y'all live. Like, it was like, everybody woke up on the spot. And that woke me up. And I was like, who the fuck is Jay Nicole? How do I feel about you? I can't stand you. No, sir, you're my baby. <laughs> you know, I love you. <laughs> you're my baby. You know, I love you. I love you to death. What I like most is seeing people react to the song and like how they feel and how the song made them feel, you know, like I, I could do it for kids, adults, elderly, whoever, you know. Whoever feels the song, whoever vibes with the song, that's for them. I don't have like, you know. So. Come on, stand up, look up. Like getting, you know, bashed, like being like, oh, she's just doing this for the money or she doing this because she want to get famous and nobody don't know her and nobody never like it. Like, I'm not trying to do it for that, you know, like I want to, you know. Show y'all why I do it. So that's yeah. I'm gonna let it party, Jenny Cole gon' eat, play no flow, never let go. Now we gon' jump all the way to the flow. Uh, now it's gotta hurt, gotta put a little pain in the verse. So now let me go. Sometimes her, uh, she wants to do certain stuff. And if she's not sure about doing this, she'll ask me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I got this beat. You think I should rap on this beat? Like, you think it's corny? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. When she does that, I feel like she really actually care about the shit that she do. You know what I'm saying? So I actually want to help her care about the shit that she doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want her to not care about that shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's important. 
something that you actually care about, you know what I'm saying? Turn 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 Dear Lord, do you remember me? Yeah, I was a lonely little girl who had tears everywhere. I had to go through depression and also suicide. I ain't had no friends. And no hey, yo, what's up, you It's your girl, Jenna Cole. I'm here on Grand Street in front of my high school, International. And yeah, I'm gonna just tell y'all, you feel me? Some stuff about the school, you know. I've been here for three years now. Uh, I will be graduating this high school, as a matter of fact. You know, I show my talent and everything. You know, stuff like that. I have performed here, you know, showed my gift to everybody. Had a couple of posters in here too as well. Um, and yeah, I just want to come and show y'all, you know. This is a very good school, so if y'all want to go to a high school in Patterson, I do recommend International High School. It's a good school. I basically, you know, like had like a time limit on where I uh, do my homework first and everything, get all of that situated. And if I have enough time in a day, I'll, you know, write a couple of verses. So it's like, it's not really that hard as long as you, you know, know how to time your, you know, time your stuff. So, stuff like that. That's how I maintain it. It's too much, cause pain is always in the dark, uh. It's a go, but now it's too much. Cause people always move low, so far apart. Look, how you telling me you love me and you really didn't? Showing this affection that ain't made nothing different, uh. I gave you everything, my love and my home. But you just wanna go ahead and make stuff wrong, uh. You think you tall? Nah, it's just the hills. We can go down and we can split half the bill, uh. I gave you hella love, your whole life changed. Now we in the memory, so tell me what you see in me. That's responsibilities, you never had to be a G. Looking at you, it's like see your other clones in me. My plans after high school, uh, my plans after high school is to, of course, you know, finish my rap career. Uh, I do have a plan B, which is being a teacher. Um, not really exactly sure what subject, but uh, my plan B would be being a teacher. Uh, you know the bros, Doc. I mean, that's that's that's, that's my bro right there, man. We like grew up doing the music and all that shit together. You feel me? He helped me out with my daughter a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I look up to him. It's like a big brother I never had. Even though he get on my nerves and shit, but you know that's that's normal shit. You feel me? Be on his grind still. Cheeks make my mind spill. All over the track like a match hit the shot. You got bull. That's my big cuz. You feel me? Like, I look up to that nigga. He like a role model. You know what I'm saying? The nigga told me how to throw the hands and all that little sign. You feel me? Now, that's, 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 that's my bro. You feel me? Like, the relationship with me and Mel is like kind of different with me and Doc. You know what I'm saying? But like, I love them equally. You know how you have a best friend off a of best friend. So back in the day, we uh, used to all chill, you know, ciphers and, you know, get it in and uh, rap and get in our little circle or play the game or go by each other's house and, and rip and run. So we just became a little bit more you know, fluctuated with our style and between us, we had a chemistry, you know what I'm saying? And we both had like a little bit of same energy and we was coming from the same vibe, you know what I mean? And the strange struggle at that time, like we could all live in this town, but we can't all come from the same environment. Yo, this, that's my nigga to, to, to beyond niggas, you know what I mean? NASCAR Dreddy the General, you heard? Or a bond. He got all this shit from me. <laughs> or a bond. I learned a lot from him too, you know what I mean? Just the patience and, you know what I mean? Learning how to do shit and persistence, you know what I mean? The niggas, impeccable memory, as, 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 as I said, you know what I mean? Like, same thing as Jayla, you know what I'm saying? She got it honest, you know what I mean? For real. Um, and um, I ride with that nigga, man. If, uh, if I'm going through some shit or whatever, you feel me? Like, they like, they motivate me, you feel me? They push me, you feel me? Like, times when I be coming home, I be like, man, I'm ready to like, just 
quit this shit, you feel me? Because of the bullshit, they are like, you know, sit down there, talk to me, like, yo, chill, I'm just overthinking the shit and all that, you feel me? Like, you gotta just chill, you feel me? So, it's good to have that type of energy around. You know what I'm saying? So, I respect them for that shit too. All of them, you feel me? Took out the whole drip. No, check the back, check the back. Check the back. She looks sweet. She looking sweet. Hear me? Come on, we ready to start. Looking sweet. Caleb, that's your white back? My dad, he showed me, like, he taught me, like, different flows and how to, like, tell a story in a song or, like, stuff like that. And, he always told me, like, no matter what I want to do, just make sure, you know, you be real with it. With the money in my pocket, y'all. I'm going to make it to the top. I'm going to never fall down, y'all. Watch this. Look, check me out. You already know what's up. Yeah, hate to be talking shit, but I can never give a oh. Second artist I, I look up to would be my brother. It's because uh, he, he's been my best friend, like, like all my life, so he's been my best friend, and he, you know, we always did like some fun things together. So oh, hell now, nah, you already know what's going down. Let me go and calm down before I even turn around. I see it's bright out, the lights going blasting. Now I got that camera, let's see about that action. Ain't no thought though, my money coming first too. Rider with my gang, and yeah, we gon' come through. Jenna coast spitting bars off the backboard. Say you want this one, so let me give you what you ask for. Little T, it's something that I really just asked for. I gotta get the money, I'ma get it while I'm grinding hard. I see y'all. In the kitchen, I'm spitting up on the spot now. Y'all see the beauty now, looking at a beast. I'm eating up like a feast, putting flavor on a beat. Uh, I'm walking on the runway, I'm model with a straight face. Gotta slow it down, never out of time. I get sick when I rhyme. I smile and got a style, real tea with a crown. Yes, I'm very proud, and I switch the flow. And these bars is laying low. I'm a new player, hot hater, yeah. Be so clever, I'm breaking a new weather. I'm an icebreaker, but I can never break a heart. Jay when I did her thing, she the one who played the part. I'm gone. I see y'all Cause I'ma make it to the top I ain't never fall down, y'all I got your girl in the backseat Take her for a job, y'all And see the ice on my neck You hurt Check me out Check me out Check me out this person right here, man. Mom Dukes. Feel me? Like. Like I lost my best friend, man. Certain shit that I be going through, bro, you feel me? I be wanting to go to my mom's. But I know she not here. Like, it's hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's hard. But I be wanting to talk to her, I can't. So the next closest person to me that I would talk to is my aunt, my aunt Trina. She's like second in line, you know what I'm saying? She's like my, she's like my mother. It's like she took my mother's place. You know what I'm saying? Then I got my stepmoms, Tammy Robinson. You know what I'm saying? She took me in that I was a baby. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my pops, Broderick Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Been there for me since like forever, man. But 
it's hard my mom's bro it's like 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 we had a, a, a crazy connection bro you feel me like crazy uh, unbreakable mom bro and when she got sick I was there bro for the whole ride the whole ride my bro was locked up I had to lie to him, tell him that, that everything was okay, when it really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And I only told him that because half of the shit that my moms went through, bro, like, he wasn't there to see that shit. He was always locked up, incarcerated and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So every time he called or some shit like that. I talked to him like, yeah, you know, mommy doing good. She all right, bro, you feel me? Like, like she good, she always asking about some shit like that. But deep inside, like, I rely on him, bro, because she's really not okay. So when he came home, and he seen that shit for himself, it was an experience for him, bro. Experience that he never experienced. Because he didn't know, because he wasn't there to see that shit like how I was. So, my mom's passed away in 2009. You know what I'm saying? We was at the hospital. They even let my brother come home, bro. They even let him come home to see her in that condition. You know what I mean? So when he came home and he seen her, it's like he was just looking at me. He was speechless. He didn't know what to say. He didn't know how to react. He didn't know how to do nothing. I tried to hold him. He wasn't trying to get none of that shit, bro. So I left the hospital. He stayed there. As soon as I got home. Like, as soon as I got home, bro. I got the phone call. I was just there with her. Wiping her face and all that, feeding her and doing all that shit, you feel me? Man, can say we was both there. Both there by side. You know what I mean? Wiped the face and shit, I mean, wiped the mouth and all that. She was sitting there chilling, laughing. She remembered everything. She remembered who everybody was. She had a tool, you know what I'm saying? That dope. So, I knew she was all right. So I left. And when I got home, before I could even get in the door, bro. I got that call. I ran, ran back to the hospital. I grabbed my brother. I told him everything was gonna be okay. He was supposed to go back. He went on a run. He started doing shit that he had no business doing, bro. I had no control over it, you feel me? Cause he wasn't here with me. And so, on my birthday, you know, that was in 2018. He FaceTimed me on my birthday, bro. You feel me? When I was down there, we was in DC. He FaceTimed me. We sitting there, we bugging, we laughing, we joking and all that. So we came home. You know what I'm saying? We seen him, we chilling. His girl called me, telling me that, you know, he locking himself in a room, doing shit, he ain't got nobody to do. My mind, I have no control over that because I'm not around him. All I can do is just try to talk to him. So I talked to him, you know, I told him, hey, just chill, relax, you know what I'm saying? If you need me, I'm here. February 1st, bro. 2018. I got another phone call. Telling me to hurry up. I had to drive to Pleasantville. Pleasantville, New Jersey. That's like two hours away from here, bro. 
His baby mom's crying on the phone, like, yo, oh, you need to come up here, like, hurry up. Then Star called me, my cousin. She called me. When she called me, that's when I knew shit got real. I was in the house cooking, bro. She called me and she told me that they found my brother laying face down on the floor, bro. His kids called Star on FaceTime. And she seen that shit. They, she seen them trying to revive him, bro. And when I got there, it was too late. Now, it be times when I be feeling like I'm alone, bro. It was just, my whole family, we grew up together on Cowboy Street. Once we separated, it was just us three, bro. Us three. Now it was just me. You know what I'm saying? This shit right here. Bro. I can't even put this shit up, bro. I can't even look at this shit. I hide this shit in the closet, bro. And this is why I try to stay as close as possible to my family, bro. Because you never know what's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, or how it's gonna happen, bro. You never know. Dear mama, ever since that day that you left, me and my brother still feel that pain in our chest. I understand that you're gone, but it's hard to believe. The message that you sent to me and my brother, I received it. So the truth will be told. My story will be revealed. Amen. Shit. Take out. Yo, man. It's so plain to see. So plain to see. Shit is real, man. I've been going through a lot of shit in my life, man. You feel me? I just lost my mom to shit, man. You feel me? That shit hurt. But I got something to say to y'all, man. My grind stronger, keep my head above the water Gotta live my life for my brother and my daughter It's fucked up, I'm feeling out of order Like a judge in the court, out loud to a lawyer This shit is real, I'm bombed by rebuild My earth gone now, can explain how that feels Emotion after emotion, that migraine's real That still don't understand this fucking pain that I feel, huh? I know it's life, but I expect the unexpected Another tragic moment now, heart feeling reckless It's unexplainable Shit'll leave you breathless Nice, I can't sleep, man Leave a nigga restless Time's out, be in the crib Thinking of my death wish Gotta get my mind right Think about this next yeah. shit It's beautiful, you know He rats as well So, you know They have their little bond thing They you know, have going on. So it, it, it's beautiful, you know, it, it just comes in a full circle, you know, and sometimes I have to step in and, you know, sometimes I just, you know, let them cut it and, you know, and do his thing. So the moments of that day, you see me, now I gotta do the aim. Why you say I'm a pretty like it was a game, but wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was a pain. It was me, I had to go to the place far away. Far away. How I feel about having two dads, you know, it feels good. You know, I get the best of both worlds, you know. Some people out here don't have a father, so I get to respect that, you know, and I respect both of them. You know, a lot of people just think like, oh, just because your stepdad ain't here don't mean you gotta call him dad. I don't have to, I chose to. 
not only because you know he's with my mother but because he made me feel like his own child so that's why I wanted to call him my dad so you know I know the difference between my dad and I love him you know I love both of my dads she been to these, uh, what's this, uh, the day of the babies and all of that? Ain't nobody been to them shits. Then she went that shit like five consecutive years in a row or some shit like that. Legends, Raptors, she already there. You feel me? Nobody has done it. Trophy. Got it every year. Definitely, I could say uh, um, something that was supposed to happen, you know what I mean? Because it invented the family type shit, you get me? Like with my boy Nash, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do doing the music and, you know, him being related to like so many, you know what I mean, music um, entities out there, you know what I'm saying? Fantasia, uh, 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 KC Jojo, you know what I mean? Shit like that. You know, it was, it was bound to happen, you know what I mean? Her being in the studio with us when she was four. You know what I mean? Coming up, but then you know, just her dad in the in the, in the house rhyming with her. You you you'll probably see it. You know what I mean? Look out for that. <laughs> um, you know, she had time to be a girly girl, and then she just one day she just got right back into it and and full surface from there. You know what I'm saying? Word up. I'm proud of her though. Are y'all ready for Jay Nicole? Yeah. Put your head down, uh. down. living large. I'm the one who be in charge. I'm the one who with the money bag. Never had the bread back. Nah. 23, they say, yeah, we gon' be new. I never had to be the chick that she was trying to be you. Never that. Never that. I'ma come and bite back with that Pisces gang, yeah. And I'ma try to fight that. Uh. Here I go with the rhymes and the drums, uh. Flowing in the river like the ones. My sons now we shooting hoops. Pointing three up in the basket. We running around waiting, trying to wait up for this practice. Uh -huh. I'm hitting different. I'm just trying to take a sense with the switch of flows and the other shows. It's a bang, wow, the same crown. Patterson, the same town. Here I come, uh. Here I come. Here I come, here I come, here I come, uh oh. Here I come, uh, here I come, here I come, look. Coming with the drip now, me and baby lit now, yeah. If you see me, this is how we get back. Getting the cold, spitting flow, just like Evie Isha. Let me shake your body with the tambourine, you get it? I got the rhyme, so let me bust a move. Even when you looking at me, I'ma stay with them. What I gotta stay with the money, loving it just like it's honey. Hopping all over these, hopping like the Easter bunny. The hooks is in the basket, fire in a casket. Doing back flips, how we doing them gymnastics. And I be like that, had to get my get back. Happy belated, so let me go. I know that it's like, whoa, yeah, I'm doing it like, whoa, please don't ruin it like, whoa, whoa. I know that it's like, yeah, I'm doing it like, whoa, please don't ruin it like, whoa, whoa. I know that it's like, whoa, yeah, I'm doing it like, whoa, please don't ruin it like, whoa. She killing it, come on. They just zoom it in, I'm on. Jenico never alone, putting it up in his own. I'ma come through, already know what I do. OG hanging out with the crew. Hold up, let me try to flip this verse too. Love, they like, whoa, oh, gotta come clean. Spitting the curse from good to mean. Hand curved with the hard words, now we gotta get laid, yeah, yeah. Uh, what it says, pack, cause I gotta go with a chip, bad, sit bad. Let me see you break it like a kick, cat. Gotta get the party, bed, make a big splash, love.